What's going on? My name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your first Google Ads campaign. So let's not waste any time and get started right away. So the first step is to go to ads.google.com and then click on the start now button right here. Then here you want to create your Google Ads account by either signing in to your existing Google account or you can also just click on create account and then create your Google Ads account using any email address. Once we are logged into our account we want to come down here and click on switch to expert mode so that we get all the options for our campaign. Then here we're going to click on create a campaign without a goals guidance because again we want to keep the full control over our campaign. Here we want to select our campaign type. So in this video we're going to create a simple search campaign with text ads that show up when people type in specific keywords on Google. So we're going to go back here and click on search. And then we have to define the result that we want to get out of our campaign. Now in my example I'm just going to send people to a specific landing page with an offer. So I'm just going to click on website visits right here and then paste in my URL. Then we're going to click on continue on the bottom right. Now here in the campaign settings we want to first give our campaign a name. I'm just going to name it search campaign version 1. And then we want to untick both the search network and also the display network because in the beginning we only want our ads to show up in the Google search engine and not on any other networks. Now let's scroll down and click on show more settings. Here we can set a start and an end date for our campaign. So if you only want to run your campaign for a specific time, then you can set the times right here. And then we also have ad schedule. So if you only want to run your ads at specific days or at specific times, you can set those times right here. Now let's move on to targeting and audience segments. Under locations, you want to define the location where your ads will show up in. So by default, it is set to United Kingdom right here. But if I would want to sell to people in the United States, for example, I could just come here, click on enter another location and then type in United States right here. And then I'm going to click on United States. And now my ads will only show up in the United States. Then we also want to come to location options right here. And then under target, we want to change it from presence or interest to presence. Otherwise your ads would also show up for people who are interested in the location that you're targeting, which doesn't really make sense if you want to ship products to them or if you want to work them in that specific location. Then let's move on to languages. Now here you can simply use the language of your customers, which is also the language of the ads that we're going to create later on. We're going to skip the audience segments and go right to budget and bidding. Under budget, we want to first choose the currency that we want to pay Google with for our ads. So for example, if you live in the United States, then you probably want to choose US dollars right here. Here we can set our average daily budget. I'm going to set this to $10, which means that on average over the course of a month, it's not going to spend more than $10 a day. Sometimes it will spend a bit more than $10, sometimes it might spend a bit less, but over the course of an entire month, on average, it will not have spent more than $10 a day. And then under bidding, we're going to set this to focus on clicks for now because we don't have any data in our account yet. Later on, once you have installed conversion tracking and once you have some data, you can then change this to optimize for conversions. However, we're also going to set a maximum cost per click bid limit, which is going to be the maximum that we're going to have to pay for a single click. It doesn't mean that you're going to have to pay that much, but you're never going to pay more than what you set here. So I'm, so I'm going to set this to $2. And then we're going to move on to add extensions. Now ad extensions are just additional links and text on your ad that mainly make your ad larger which gives it more real estate on Google which usually results in a higher click through rate which really helps with the Google ads. So I highly recommend to set up these ad extensions. So I would definitely set up these site link extensions right here which are just links going to different pages of your website. And then also set up the callout extensions right here, just listing some additional benefits and also the structured snippet. Now for specific businesses, it also makes sense to add a phone number so you can add a call extension or you can also look through these extensions right here, which might make sense for different businesses. 
And don't worry if you don't wanna do all this now, you can always set them up later once you have created your ads. So now let's click on save and continue. So here we're gonna set up our ad groups and we're gonna set them up so that for each specific ad group, we're gonna target a specific intention of our customers. So that later we'll be able to create ads that are very relevant to the keywords that we are targeting. So let's say for example, I have a website development business. So for the first ad group, I could just target people who are looking for a responsive website. And then for the second ad group, I can target people who are looking for a booking website. And so you can see for each ad group, we're just gonna use the keywords that are related to that specific search intent. So for our first ad group, let's target people who are looking for a responsive website. So I'm gonna change the name from ad group one to website plus responsive so that I always know what this ad group is all about. And then under keywords, we want to define all the search terms that our ad should show up for. So to find our keywords, we can simply type in a main keyword in right here as a seed keyword. So I'm gonna just type in responsive website development and then I'm gonna click on get keywords and then Google is gonna give me all the keywords that they think are related to what I'm about here. And now as a second step, I'm gonna go through all these keywords and delete all the ones that I think don't have the same search intent of what I'm going for. So for example, Udemy responsive web design is probably not gonna be a search term that will convert in a customer for me because Udemy is a course platform and people who type that in are probably looking for a course on how to build a responsive website and they're not looking for freelancers. So now I've narrowed down all the keywords to the ones that I think have the intent behind them to find somebody who can build a responsive website, which is what I'm offering here with these ads. So now what we're gonna do is just copy all of our keywords and then go to a site called Keyword Match Type Tool, where we can just paste them in right here. And then we're gonna go to the right side and tick the Phrase Match and the Exact Match option. And then we're gonna click on Create Keyword List. And then here, we're just gonna copy all of those and then go back to our Google Ads account and just paste them in right here. So what we've done just now is put brackets and also quotation marks around our keywords which represent different match types. So whenever you put brackets around your keyword, it means that your ad will only show up when people type in that exact keyword or basically something that means the same. And then if you put quotation marks around your keyword, that means that your ad will also show up when people type in that keyword along with some kind of phrase. So for example, if somebody types in, I'm looking for a responsive website development company, then your ad can also show up. You could also use the broad match, which means you're not gonna put anything around your keyword. However, I don't recommend it because then your ad will show up for pretty much everything that is kind of related to your keyword. So I'm just gonna delete this one again. So now we're basically done with our first ad group. So if we want to, we can create more ad groups by just going to add new ad group right here. And then for a second one, we could go for another intention we could maybe target people who are looking for a website for a restaurant. So then we would just name the ad group website plus restaurant and then do the same process as we have did before. Now for time purposes, I'm gonna leave this ad group again and we're gonna move on to the next step by clicking on save and continue right here on the bottom. And now we can finally create the ads for each single ad group. So here on the top, you can always see what ad group you are currently creating the ad for. Then on the second line, you have some tips from Google. You don't need to pay too much attention to that, to be honest. Then under preview, you can see how your ad currently looks like on a mobile version and also on a desktop version. And then here on the left side is where we wanna enter all of the details for our ad. So under final URL, you wanna put the website that you wanna send people to once they click on your ad. So optimally, it would be your product that you're advertising or your service. And then under display path, this is where we can type in a path that will be visible on the ad. So this doesn't have to be the actual URL of your website. For the display path, I recommend you use some of the keywords that you're going for with this specific ad group. So I've just put in web developer responsive. 
Then let's move on to the headlines. So with your headlines, you wanna be very specific about the product or service you're offering. So here I've just put like four or five headlines describing what I'm offering. And then I've also put some objections or pain points that people might have that are looking for that service. And then for some headlines, it might make sense to tell Google that they only should show it at the third position. So for example, for a 100% money back guarantee, I don't wanna have Google show that at the first position because that should be where I explain what my product or service is. So what I can do here is just go to the pin icon next to that headline and then click on show only in the third position. And then Google will only show that headline in the third position. And then let's move on to the ad description. So for your ad descriptions, you don't really need to overthink it because most people don't really read the description. They just kind of glance over it. So what I recommend is to just use up as many characters as possible to make your ad as large as possible. Also use some keywords and then also use some numbers because people kind of gravitate towards them and that can also increase your click-through rate. And now we're done setting up the first ad group. We can now do the same thing with all the other ad groups that we've created. Now in this example, I've only created one ad group, so I can now click on save and continue. And now after you've entered your payment information right here, Google is gonna review your ads and then if they are approved, your campaign will be ready to go. Now, if you wanna learn more about Google Ads and you wanna know exactly how to pay as little as possible for the most amount of customers as possible, then definitely watch the video right here. This is my complete and in-depth Google Ads tutorial where I share a lot more tips and tricks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.